love me. Thank you for yet another day's journey. Thank you for watching over us, Lord. Thank you for providing for us. Thank you for your son, Jesus. Thank you for your Holy Spirit, Lord. We thank you for life, health, and strength being as well as it is. Thank you for our family, Lord. Father, thank you for your word. We pray that you strengthen us as we go to do your will. In Jesus' most holy name we do pray. And every child of God said amen, amen, and amen. Oh, Lord. Greetings to you, my brothers and my sisters, in the name of God, our Father, His Son, Jesus, who is our Redeemer, our Savior. Ooh. Mm. Lord, we thank you for your Holy Spirit. <clears throat> Welcome to Seven Minute Kingdom Building. I'm your host, CL Champion, pastor of Mount Mary Missionary Baptist Church down in Shasta, Georgia. Uh, we have in-person worship, second and fourth Sunday, uh, as a matter of fact, this coming Sunday. Uh, starting at 10.30 with our Sunday school, and then we continue on at 11.30 with our praise and worship service. And if you're in the area, please, ma'am, please, sir, feel free to stop on in to your father's house and help us uplift the name of, your, of his son, Jesus. Um, this is our um, attempt to get God's word out just a little bit more throughout the week. And uh, we, we, we call it seven minute kingdom building and uh, try my best to keep it at seven minutes. But sometimes the Holy Ghost just won't let me. Y'all bear with me today because the Holy Ghost is moving. Uh, I feel like Jeremiah right now. Jeremiah said he wouldn't speak for the Lord anymore, but it was like fire. <laughs> Shut up in his boat. Uh, this week's topic has been how deep is your love? And tonight's subtopic will be would you die for me? Mm. Today is Thursday, uh, June the 23rd, uh, and our scripture is coming from uh, the book of Luke chapter 22 and just verse number 33, where it's recorded, and he said unto him, Lord, I am ready to go with thee, both into prison and to death. Jesus, God's word for God's people. Of course, y'all know we're talking about Peter. Peter, how when when he wanted to profess his love for Christ so hard that he would let, let him know, look, I would even go to death for you. I'd die for you. I would die for you. And Jesus told him what? Before the cop crows, you're going to be done denying me three times. So I have to quote my deacons again. Uh, folk can make their mouth say anything. Peter, oh, Peter, Peter, the one who when Jesus was walking by the Sea of Galilee, he was there with his brother, and Jesus called to him, Peter and Andrew, fishing, and he said, follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. Ooh, Jesus. Same Peter. Who when Jesus had done the Passover meal with the disciples. And Jesus had girded his loins. And he got down and he began to wash his disciples feet. The same Peter who said you're not going to wash my feet Lord. And Jesus told him that if I didn't wash your feet. You have no part with me in this, this new kingdom. This, 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 this testament, you will have no part. And Peter said, not just my feet, Lord, but my hands and my head also. That Peter. Same Peter who, when Jesus was walking on the water, Peter said, Lord, if it be that, bid me to come out of the ship to you. And Peter got out of the ship and walked on water to the, this Peter. I'm, I'm, and I'm, I'm building this up so that you understand this is somebody who walked with Jesus. This is somebody who talked with Jesus, who ate with Jesus, who watched Jesus perform the miracles. Who was there? Who was there? Would you die for me? This same Peter, as devout as he was when it came down to it, what happened? 
what happened? They came into the garden of Gethsemane. They took Jesus. The soldiers did. And they took him to the house of the high priest. And Peter followed, kind of stand back a little bit. And when they took him there, excuse me, uh, there was a fire kindled in the hall. And they sat down together. And Peter sat down with him uh, incognito, if you will. And, and, and one of the maids, or the barmaid, went ahead and said, hold up. Wait a minute. Hey, hey, where you went, Jesus? Huh? Ain't you one of them? He denied. He denied Jesus the three times, just like Jesus said he would. And then the cock crowed. He denied him. He said, I don't know the man. How deep is your love? I picture Jesus right now asking, would you die for me? We already know what he did for us, but what you got for me? Folks will stand up in the church and, and loudly proclaim, for Christ I'll live and for Christ I'll die. What you got for me? Greater love no, no man than to lay down his life for a friend. What you got for me? I'm going to leave that alone right there. I'm praying to you, Father God, in the name of your son Jesus. With the Holy Ghost says, my witness, Father, we pray and asking that you allow your will to be done. Father, we ask that you would touch our hearts and our mouths, Lord. Bless us to be, live, and do, and say that which is pleasing in your eyesight. Father, give us the courage of our conviction, that even if we got to stand alone. We know you got our back. We'll be on your side, Lord, forever. In the name of your son, Jesus Christ, we pray and we thank you, Lord. Holy Ghost is our witness. Everybody say it, amen. Amen and amen. Share this message, please, with somebody, anybody, everybody. Put it on your timeline. Let's get the word out about the goodness of God. Jesus loves you. And so do I. That was a no hymn that just really resonated with my spirit tonight. I've been, I know I post, I'm posting a little bit late, later than normal, but I just, ooh, the Holy Ghost is just moving right now. So, on a hill far away stood an old rugged cross. The emblem of suffering and shame. And I love that old cross where the dearest and best for a world of lost sinners was slain. And I cherish the old rugged cross. Good night, family. God bless you. Till at last my trophies I lay down. I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it someday for a crown. God bless you. Have a good night, family.